One of the complexities with Siamese Mahjong is scoring. If you play online, you don't have to worry about it, but if you play in person, you need to know how to score your hand. In this video, we'll practice. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. This is a game played at SiamesMahjong.com. This is player one. This is player two. In the end game, I was holding out for double Mahjong, and I think my opponent was doing the same thing because we didn't have any hands exposed. I felt the need to declare Mahjong for one of the hands. Since I was waiting on a pair, I didn't need any jokers down here. So I decided to declare Mahjong for the quint to at least get that value because you only get compensated for declared hands. So I declared Mahjong on the quint and then I discarded. This player declared Mahjong on the pair hand and discarded the one bam. Then I declared Mahjong on that second hand, which ended the game. Score this. This is a staggered Mahjong for two hands. The first hand is single value, the second winning hand is double value. So this is a 40 point hand. This is a 25 point hand doubled for 50 points. So we have 90 points here. This player has a pair hand, which is 50 points. Since they discarded the winning hand. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Three, two, one. This is a staggered win. We have the quint, which is 40 points, and then a 25 point hand doubled for being the second Mahjong. So that's a 25 point hand doubled for 50 points. So this is 90 points for this player. This player has a 50 point hand, but since they discarded the winning tile for the second hand, they incur a penalty of 20 points. If you play online at Siamese Mahjong, this player would get 90, this player would get 30. So they would get credited for that 30 points, but deducted the 20 point penalty for this. If you play Siamese Mahjong online, pay special attention to the scoring at the end of the game. That'll be a great way for you to have some practical application of how to score Siamese Mahjong. So when you play in person, you'll be prepared. Don't forget to look in the video description below for a link to the rules, which includes scoring. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.